I have officially spent 100 days in my Minecraft Create world. So in this video, I am going to pile all my episodes together so you can sit back, relax, and watch the entire thing. So let's jump into it. In today's episode, I created this little starter base, and I experienced something scary down in the cave. So let's hop right in. In. But like every uh, survival world when starting off, you need to get the basics like wood and stone. So I'm going to quickly grab some wood or maybe not. There's a village right here. Okay, you guys have nothing. Let's maybe see if there's anything in this church, chapel, whatever this is. More bread, I will take it because... Yeah. Let's just go and get the basics. Let's not be lazy. We'll come and raid this village later. I can see that there's a cherry biome over there. And whatever this biome is down here, it looks really cool with all the different colored leaves. Uh, but we should do the basics. Let's grab some wood. Okay, now that we've got some wood, let's craft ourselves a crafting bench like we always do get ourselves some sticks and then we can craft ourselves a wooden pickaxe and then we can grab some of the stone down here okay i kind of lost count but hopefully this is enough so we got enough for pickaxe probably want to get ourselves a furnace we can we would like a sword as it will be beneficial uh an axe and we've got enough to make a shovel if we want one okay now that we've got our tools that we need i think we should go down into the caves uh because the faster we get iron the faster we can make progression um uh, so let's hope we don't die i guess Okay, we've got some zinc that will come in handy in the future. This leads to a dead end. Got some coal. Okay, I think this cave is more promising. Uh, so let's have a bit of a caving montage. so glad that i'm alive but we got enough iron to make ourselves a chest plate an axe i don't like to wear helmets so i might be making a helmet i see that we have some dogs i don't know if we picked up some bones we did oh we didn't get a dog we should get ourselves some food You see that bloke? We don't need these anymore. Uh, that's a really good crossbow, which is in really good condition. Um, why keep the wheat if we can, can't make anything with it? I. As much as I want to go caving, I think we should go exploring. This biome is really bushy, but it looks really cool. But up there also looks cool. Like, there's so many cool places to live. It just starts uh, getting hard to pick. Like, if I lived here, going to be a lot of bush removing, I guess. Oh, what's this? I don't want to waste my inventory space for some mystery eggs right now. What's this? White terracotta. Oh. Also of the series, I want to build all the projects I said I was going to build in the last series. So, in Cobble Mod Season 1, I wanted to build uh, a McWilliams, a bakery, and a post office. Didn't get to because the series went too fast. Um, then Season 2, I wanted to build a funicular railway, which I will build in this series, which I can because it's Create Mod. I mean, out here looks really cool like build along the mountain or something i'm not sure 
Because I seem to build anywhere that's plain, but I want to have a forest around me. Do they attack me? Oh, they don't. What the? What the? Oh my god. Oh, that bear just tried to attack me. But by the way, guys, uh, just one little thing to note as well is, yes, I will be doing some live streams over on Twitch uh, on this wonderful world, I guess. So that will be down in the link in the description if you want to check it out. Three diamonds. What the heck? What the heck was I doing? Don't mind if I grab this anvil. My birthday cake. I'm gonna take some candles just for decoration of my house. Potato, if you're watching this, I got a special thing for you. So it's an inside joke. Um, you won't understand uh, if you haven't been on this channel long enough. Or if you don't follow Potato. I don't know, there's something about the rain in Minecraft. That is just so relaxing. Like, it's night time, but I don't want to sleep because the rain. It will be rain, rain, go away. And I don't want it to go away. I want it to stay. What the heck was that? What are you? Lord almighty, that's a big creeper hole. I think I'm gonna have some fun and build my house right here on this little mountainy part. My starter house, of course, not my big house. Um, but first off, we should. I'm just gonna put my stuff over here so it's out of the way. Got no wood. So let's chop down some trees. Okay, now we can craft up some chests. Because, to be honest, we need the room. Let's just spam everything in here and figure out what we need after. Um, so we can ditch that. Make ourselves an upgraded pickaxe. Uh, we'll obviously need to keep the food. We'll all probably want to make ourselves... Um... Uh, a shovel. Uh, also, to be honest, no idea what I'm going to do for a starter bishop. And you want to know the most drastic and most saddest thing ever? There's no replay mod. There's no replay mod because you can't get replay on Forge uh, for 1.20.1, uh, only on Fabric. So I'm sad now. So I'm going to have to figure out a different way that I'm going to build. Which I know I have a way once I... Uh, get more deep into create i guess but i actually don't think our starter base will be any bigger than this if so let me just expand out this way a little bit and why we're going on a digging spree uh oh i saw that we had an azalea tree um so let's dig up this root of dirt. Actually, I'll be back. We need some torches. I can't see anything. I'll be back when I've digged up all this root of dirt. A ginormous hole later and about 14 stacks of root of dirt. To be honest, I did not expect that much. Because uh, I've never dug them up. But you want to see how deep the hole is? 
So from here, I dug all the way down to here. And I got about 14 stacks of rooted dirt. Which means we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because I doubt we're even going to use all of them. But I have uh, a starter base planned. Which we should get building. But first we should do some material gathering. What is this thing? <laughs> that was traumatizing okay i did a bunch more uh resource gathering off camera and we finally have all the materials we need um as you can see here in the background i have already uh framed out the area so this is how big my house is going to be quite small um but yes there's a lot of things i had to do like my chests are messy i had to go and steal wheat uh from a nearby village but there's one issue when it comes to playing on forge is that i can't get replay mod so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way but let's uh get on with the building uh okay doki um right here door we just immediately place down a door i heard if you place a door like that and then open it um uh, well close it the zombies registers it as open and they won't break your door down which is actually quite handy but we're going to have birch along here we're going to build up the birch walls like so chop this part out because that's where the window will be and then we just have a subtle gradient with this other wood see it's very subtle but it's noticeable the only thing i don't like is that there's a little bit of a color difference so i just place this every now and again just to give it a little bit of a gradient in the wall so it's not just the same boring one then we can do the same on this side
Okay, done all the gradient. I think that looks nice. I think I also have a door here. Basically, uh, a back door. And then down here, I'm going to have a little bit of an alleyway. Like, very small. We can place the window right there. Then we can pop these right there. Then we can pop these uh, framed posts. I really like them because you can put any block here and it will make that. The reason they're not fences and they are posts is because I don't want them connecting to the wall. But then we can slap a trap door here and there. And we can put a campfire there. And then we have a little roof type thing. And then we can do the same right there. Add a fence there, so it's like almost a little bit of support. And then we can do this. So that is the front part done. It looks a bit messy now, but trust me, it's a trust the process. Uh, we can do this like so. I think I underestimated how much deep slate we need, because I don't think this is enough deep slate to make the roof. Then we can build the roof like this, and then we grab another stair like that. Just kidding, I lied. Yes, I am looking at a reference photo because I built this already and I've made a mistake. But where? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mistakes were made already. There we go, I fixed it. And that will be our roof. I think it looks cute. Now we need to smack birch here and here. And we've got to repeat this on this side. Okay, now that part of the roof is done. Now we've got to do along here, which I'm going to count actually, because now this looks rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just bring this forward. So, yes, it's even smaller than you guys thought. But uh, it's only a starter house, should be fine. Okay, so this is indeed also trapdoors. Lord, this is going to be expensive. Why did I do this to myself? No idea. There we go, that's the side of the roof. Um, indeed, I don't have enough deep slate. I need to go mining from some more deep slate. Um, by the way, this cobble deep slate is not correct, but it doesn't actually look too bad. I think I might just keep it. Voila, that's our house done. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I think it's like a really cute and adorable starter base. Uh, the reason I went for this blue roof is because I can't get access to warped wood. And so I thought we could use the Azurin for our starter base roof. Um, it won't be for all the roofs, just for this one, probably. But I think we should decorate the inside now. I sort of went out after that scene. And then when I came home to continue the recording, I forgot to actually press record. Um, but this is what I've done so far. I think it's really adorable. I really like the roof I went for. I'm really glad I chose that blue. Um, but we'll start down here. So I've made this little retaining wall down here just to encase that little area up i've used cut andesite brick rounded stone bricks and stone bricks i use them cut deep state brick stairs as stairs and then i've made this little path with some moss and stuff like that i really like this path but 
in here i have a little farm with a little fellow so if you have any name suggestions please comment that down below um but yes i also created him i didn't record it i'm sorry uh but we have our little farm here in case we do need extra food then inside here is my home so this is my little kitchen here i have a smoker i have the farmer's delight oven furnace and a blast furnace crafting bench and i have my cooking pot potatoes lovely carrot i have my stuff here food here really only have wheat i'm gonna starve in here is my organics woods stones and bibbly bobs and then i have more of the bigger items here see over 266 spruce logs so it's in here moss and all that other stuff i've got a little storage area got my little bed here my first diamond uh in here's our valuables got my backpack here and this little area here so yes it's quite small but it fits everything that i need but we do have to quickly upgrade our base because i'm already running out of room then out here ow then out here is a little pathway that goes here with my little carpenter's table and mason's table. Uh, this is on the side because can't fit it in there. I think it's a little work area. Then I've got my auto composter bone mill thingy, my bob. So you put the stuff here, composters it, and then you get bone mill. And then back here is a little tiny backyard, I guess. And then I have a little back gate where I can also enter my house from. But I hope that has been a great episode. I do have to end it here for today. I'm very, very sorry. But in the next episode, we do have to work on getting a sustainable food supply. So we'll probably use Create for that. So please stick around for that. But I hope this was a great video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. In the previous episode, we built this cute little starter base. In today's episode, we are going to build the ultimate create mod workshop. But before we get into that, we need to talk about our food situation. This will not get us through the series. We need to have something a little bit better than this. And we are on the brink of starvation if we don't fix it. So in order to fix this problem, we need to create a workshop. Okay, whereabouts do I want to put my workshop? This place over here, well, I don't understand what that is. But I kind of want it a bit far from here. So it makes the world seem more explored. So I don't know whether to put the factory over here. Or maybe we put the factory over here. Um, we could check out this place and see how it is. Okay, I think this is a really nice spot, even though it's about 2,000 blocks away from our home. Um, I think this is makes sense to slap an industrial district over here. Because it's kind of dead, but there's still some vegetation around. And there is some packed mud here. Um, the sun's going down. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Don't mind me. Um, I've got a bought a waystone. We can just quickly whip back home and sleep. <laughs> All right. So as I was saying, I think a little bit of terraforming around this part will make a nice industrial district. Um, I might build up along that mountainside, but I think down here is good because then I can expand and put factory there, factory there, and you know what I mean. But we need to get resources to build this factory. And if you watched my last video, I got DPT SDBD from the mines. <laughs> and I kind of don't want to go back down there because I'm terrified. <laughs> um, but how else are we going to build? So let's go down into the caves. 
Okay, I found this really crazy structure. I wonder what it is. Hey, at least they're easier to fight. What was that? Okay. I'm getting scared. Uh, no way I've been here already. Like, I, I can't be. I might have raided this off camera. I did too. What's that down there? Oh, it's another barrel. The thing is, I am actually terrified to be down here right now. Like, I'm shaking. I need to get limestone, a bunch of azurin, a bunch of andesite, a bunch of deep slate, a bunch of everything. But I'm spooked and scared. I hope that murmur thing is not down here. Because I don't think I... Let's not go that way. Big footsteps does not reassure my safety in the caves. I, I, I'm starting to get really tempted to remove the friends and foe mod. Because I like Minecraft and this series, but I can't do anything in the series if I am too scared to go in the caves and resource gather. And yes, I could make a strip mine. Oh no, this is where I mined the diamonds. Then I fell and then I found the murmur. The diamonds are right here. I've came down here for Deep slate. I'm just going to mine into this wall and then start mining for this deep slate. So, resource gathering. Doki, we have officially gathered everything, kinda. Pillages, uh, I think we should take care of them. All done. Um, yes, in this bag, the, we have all the stuff that we would need, but in the building process, it might look a bit bodgy because I don't know how much Azurin we need as it didn't register via the framed blocks. Um, So I'll have to go in after and do that myself. And I am short on a few of these foundation blocks, which means I'll also have to go back in and do that myself. And there's a few... There's one or two items that uh, won't be here because they're too expensive to make because I didn't have the iron to make them. And the stuff like the chimney I'd have to place myself because some of them were dirty chimneys and not clean chimneys. Um, but I guess we can begin with the building time lapse! <laughs>
Okay, it is finally done. There was a little bit of hiccups that you guys saw that I ended up fixing. But this is our workshop, and I'm really happy on how it turns out. So this is like a weird two-door type thing. So you would walk in, and this will be the main stuff. So the press will be here, and the cooker will be here. Oh, we're missing a block. Um, yeah, so this is where all the main stuff will happen. We'll do that in later in the video. And then out here is this little patio type area. There would be a fan here, but I don't have the resources to make them. So we only got these here so far. And then if you go upstairs, you go into this little office -y room. And then you go out here to this balcony area, which there would be also more fans on here. But again, too broke. Then up here is the storage. This is where I'm going to store everything that I make from down there. And then if we come down here. This is a little tiny room that I don't know what to do with. So if you've got any suggestions, leave them down in the comments, please. But I guess it's time to do some create. Okay, now we can finally set up the interior. Uh, I brought my backpack. It has a bunch of stuff. I smelled some kelp so we can make some conveyor belts. And you'll see that in the time lapse, I built a mechanical press and a mechanical sword, a depot a depot and a hand crank um this is to help with the creation of some of these things like the catwalks and that in here i have my bed uh so i don't have to worry about going home to sleep and i've got some chest in case i need to spare storage and then down here uh we're going to start setting up in here i realized i made this building a bit too big I've never created a create workshop before, so I thought I would have needed a bunch of more room. But at the back here, I'm going to have a super smelter, which will be done very great. Uh, I'm going to have my press probably over here, the slicer here, the mixer here. On this side, I'll probably have the grindstone, and if I have enough room i might make multiple press and shove it here and then i'll do something over here uh if you have any more ideas for what i could put in here please leave them in the comments below but right off the bat we need a crafting bench so we need to get ourselves some wood so we can craft some stuff and we'll place it in this corner okay i'm gonna place this about here Um, and then I'm going to have the saw over here probably, but I'm going to create a hole and there's going to be a bunch of water wheels down there, which we also have to create. And that will be the power source to all of these things. So in order to create, uh, a water wheel, we need to do this wood and andesite shaft. Grab this. Let's just smack everything in our inventory. Uh, so a shaft and then surround it to create a water wheel and i think to make it bigger we need to do it again yes so we'll do this probably four more times so we can get as much speed as possible okay we got six water wheels i just realized we'd need a bucket of water um oh we shouldn't build it there probably because i might have three uh, I don't think we need any more than one press, so let's not give ourselves any more than one press. So since this is only one press, we'll give it one wheel. And then from there, we can... Oh, we need to make more uh, shafts. So from there, we can go up. And then we can create one of these things here. A vertical gearbox. So we need four of these shafts. Uh, 
so we can make the small cogs. And for those who are wondering how to make andesite casings, because in one of the older series, I struggled to figure this out. And you just have to put andesite alloy on a stripped log. Any log, doesn't have to be spruce. Which then we can create this thing, a gearbox. And then we can do this to switch set sides. Um, I think that should be connected. We can test by putting a uh, piece of iron down. Does anyone know how to make this thing faster? That was slow! Oh my god, what the heck? Uh, I forget, it's cogwheels, isn't it? Okay, now let's test it to see if it's any faster. Yeah, if anyone knows how to make this faster, please let me know. I'm disappointed in this, to be honest. So I know we are going to need a fair bit of room at the back here. We need fans. Which is that, that, and this. Since we already smashed two, we can... Yeah, I can do this much faster. I'm gonna do it myself. Let's create these damn... Bam. That. And this. So we need something making them run. But if I... Push them off the wall one. And put the fans, like, here. Then... I think I can use encased chain drive to attach these and I can do all the work underneath so it's less messy. There. Then we can go from here to here. Then let's make the conveyor belt. Jesus, the conveyor belt's expensive. Alrighty, yo. So we can smack down a chest here and here. And then we can create an endosite funnel. This is all new to me, by the way. Uh, I'm a noob. Then I think if we want to pick it up, I don't have a wrench. I should probably make that. We are learning together. Oh, this wrench looks cool. Uh, I don't think I have to detach it. Oh no, I got to move this forward one. Uh, so we can put the lava behind. Now, where do we get lava from? There's a lava pool over here. Let's go over here. This is... That way. So I'll be back once I've got the lava. Okay, now this is all filled up with lava. I Well, I think this is how it works. So if you smack this here, and then it stuff will deposit from the chest here, roll into this chest, and by the time it gets to this chest, it will be cooked. Uh, it's going to be super slow, but that's okay, because we don't need it to be super fast. As it needs time to smelt the things. So we should probably get going down into here. And, and, um, it appears I may be stuck. There we go. And get ourselves... A source going. Um, this is editing William here, and I'm embarrassed to say this, but this took about 40 plus minutes to do. And there is no way I can fit it into the video, so I'm sorry. Makes it more industrialized. Yay! We've. Oh my god, we should cover this. I'm gonna have a biohazard. There, this is more safe. Now we have to power the conveyor belt. Voila! We finally did it. Okay, let's test it on some wood. No way, no way. Band, 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 band. Now the thing... <gasps> they do all turn to charcoal. Oh my god, they smelt just in time. 
Well, let's try some copper. <gasps> it works. It works. Oh, yeah. I'm happy I made something that works. I am really proud of my super smelter. I know some of you are going to be in the comments saying, There's an easier way to make this. Well, I'm still learning it. In the future, I plan to make a much bigger one than this. This is just a starter one. So hopefully then I will have it all compact. Unfortunately, today, guys, was where we're going to end it because that's all my brain can handle. Uh, as you guys can see back there, my mess that I created. In the next episode, we will be fixing our starvation uh, because I can't be eating kelp, okay? That's all I have left. Kelp. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! In the previous episode, I built the Ultimate Create Mod Workshop, got a new pet called Leroy Jenkins. But in today's episode, we'll be creating a mini limestone farm and creating the Ultimate Iron Factory. However, before we jump into that, I streamed over on Twitch the other day, and I went to the nether and got some blaze burners. I was also so shocked that we spawned right at a nether fortress, it saved me a ton of time and PTSD. But I also took you guys' suggestions down in the comments below, and I made my workshop much neater. Okay, so over here, right off the bat, I have moved the press back over here, and we have a mixer, and it's all compact and neat. I also moved the source over here. And this is much faster. I do wish I had an example to show you. And then over here, I brought this thing forward so it wasn't clipping back in the wall. And now it's much needed back here. I also replaced this with stone because after the video, it set on fire and almost burnt this entire building down. But then over here, we have this little nook. And as you can see, I have a deployer. And that is because I made brass with the blaze burners which i will also quickly put in a little clip yay we are doing it <laughs> we are making some rare fingers but yes now we have two blaze burner mixer thingies i also have some more blaze burners in my inventory because i don't plan to go back to the nether anytime soon but like always i need to build my building for the iron farm before actually creating the iron farm itself. And you can't build a building without getting resources, but we're going to gather the resources a little bit different today. So we are going to need to create some drills. So I think I'm going to do a three by three drill, and I also don't know how to build one, so let me look up for a tutorial. Um, We just got back from the mines. Uh, The last clip that I recorded my microphone sounded extremely off and disgusting like it pierced my ears so i'm just going to do a quick recap on what we made so we made a rotational speed controller we made a windmill bearing we made a cart assembler we made a rope pulley and we made some whatever this is and some windmill sails i was trying to somehow fix the audio but nothing i did was fixing it even lowering it didn't work i'm sorry but the reason we went down into the mines because we were lacking some of the zinc here and i also got some bonus diamonds down there and an enchantment book and some other snazzy stuff um but we need to cook the zinc ingots i love this thing i can't wait till i make a mega one but we need to make some mechanical drills the mechanical plow and some rails some chests some minecarts and some super glue i'm gonna quickly check to see if i have slime anywhere i don't think i do yeah i do have four balls actually because over on stream i killed a slime we need pressed ingot sheet and that use this much faster now got some super glue i think a mine cut's just like a yeah a boat just iron and i've got how to make rails oh okay expensive but okay let's quickly grab some sticks okay i feel like we create more there should be an inventory upgrade because 
The amount of stuff you need for create mode just takes up the inventory space. Okay, I think a stack in 21 rails should be enough. I think. We don't even need rails, I just realised. Why did I think we need rails or anything of the sorts? Oh my god, I just wasted iron. I think 9 jewels will be enough. Yeah, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So just a small square like this, a 3x3. Three three. Um, and then we need a mechan- We don't need a mechanical plow. I'm making the wrong one. But we do need chests, so let's make some chests. That's one thing we do need. Okay, we're going to build it here, and then we're going to move it. So- Is that a rhino? Okay, so we need to do this and place this down. Oh. We need to place the cart assembler down, and then we've got to place the mine cart. Then apparently we're going to put the rotational speed controller on like this. Okay, I may have lied. It needs to go side to side like so. Then what we need to do is grab a large cogwheel and then drop this in the middle Ooh, that looks cool not gonna lie okay and then what we also need is a vertical gearbox which i forgot okay so we want to put it here so we can make the windmill at the top here and then what we want to put out of the gear out here the large cogwheel is a gear shift um okay and then right on top of here Let's grab some blocks to get up. We need to place our windmill bearing. Uh, so we have 34. So 34 divided by 4 is 8.5. I don't know. 8 or something. So we're going to go up by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But I'm going to go down a little bit bit okay these look weird as heck but hey should work hopefully maybe it does work so now that we've tested that that's good well, apparently this dude wants me to change this to 128 okay and what this dude said we should put a rope pulley and put it right in front of this gearbox and then we're going to attach something I do not have uh, apparently I'm going to cry and scream I do have them somewhere uh, I don't know I never got it see trust me to make stuff hey oh uh, yeah wood 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 and endocyte alloy that's easy and then if I am correct we place this under like so Uh, I'm just going for it now. Okay. Okay, and then apparently we need to put slime blockies on. Make this up here sticky. So we can put chest, I think. Oh my god. <sighs> I made it. I'm naming this the poor man's drill. Apparently, we need to do... Okay, it's already broken. Okay, I did it. We created the poor man's drill. Now let's cover this up. I didn't mean to make this hole here. I need limestone. And this may not be the most efficient way to get it, but it's going to dig from all the way at the top, all the way down. So I'm going to get some bonus materials. Will they help me? Most likely not, but hey. I'm broke. I'm going to take anything that's free. So over here, you may see I have these waypoints over here. Uh, One of them's limestone. One of them. Okay, so we're going to place the drill a out here I think no I want it the other way around yes okay I think I want it this way yeah this way and then we disable the since this thing's gonna be difficult for me today start losing my nut um 
we're gonna dig out this much then. And then we can place the rail about here, then we can place this about here, and then we can place this about here. And then if we turn the windmill on, it should get going. It's working! Oh yeah! Why is it deep slate so far up? Oh, this is cool. Let's call it up to see what we've got so far. What the heck? Thirty-nine limestones so far that have saved me a bunch of time. So we'll send it back down now. Um, I moved my machine digger thingy, my bob, and placed it over here. And I broke the lever when it was activated, and it caused the entire thing to break. So I'm gonna cry now. But hey, it's fine. We can make the normal sideways one. Okay, I made this drill. It's much simpler, I guess. Um, so we're going to take it back down to the limestone caves and have it mined there. There is no way. I've decided that I am going to make a limestone farm. Only a mini one for now, as we will make one in the future. But I really need a mini one right now, because I need to mine a lot of limestone. And mining limestone is annoying. No, I'm gonna cry. Guys, we have a working limestone farm. I'm so happy. It's very messy and trashy right now, but I'm happy. And we've almost got two stacks. This is going to send me a bunch of time. Okay. Well, we're going to let this grind. And we will be back. I had to turn off this farm because it was producing way too much. That was starting to overflow, actually. But we have a whole double chest full of limestone now. Which is more than enough. Um, we're gonna turn that farm off. Otherwise, we're going to overproduce and I do not want that to happen. Don't think we'll need this much, but it's fine. Sadly, we can't automate Azurin, as that is our main source for the roof. This is why I originally designed this pallet with warped wood. Uh, because you can automate that. So we might have to start uh, fading into warped wood soon. Because I don't think I can mine Azurin for the rest of Minecraft. I don't know yet. But before we start building our iron farm, we need to collect resources normally. Because the drill over there didn't work. So mining montage. <laughs>
Okay, so now that we have gathered all the resources which are in this bag, we can start with the building time lapse. Okay, our factory is kind of done. As you can see in the background there, there is some framed blocks that I need to do manually as this doesn't do it for me. And I can already see that it's missed a few blocks. I th yeah, so it's missed some blocks here. And it's missed some blocks there. So I'm going to quickly go and fix that and I will be back. Okay, I have finished the back and all this other jazz. I finished uh, up there, so I finished. I fixed all this stuff up here. I did a little bit of terraforming here and changed the flooring out with dirt. And on the inside, I put in a little bit of a ground. I kind of want to make this feel a little bit open, as if you're as this is the as if this is a big building and it's I want it to make it feel cold inside but there will be a second floor right above here and maybe I'll put a third floor but in order to make an iron farm we need gravel because we need to wash the gravel and in order to get gravel we need to crush down cobblestone in order to get cobblestone we need a cobblestone generator so let's start with that. Okay, so if I am correct, I'm doing this based off memory. Uh, we put jewels here like so. Uh, so we put three jewels here. Uh, we need three so it can, you know, mine six at a time. Um, but then at the back here, oh yeah, and then at the back here, I. Don't remember how far we go forward, but I would like to say probably this far, and then we'll grab this and make this into here, and we have to raise everything up by one. Yeah, because we need to make funnels right along here, and then we bring this up one, and then we plonk the... No, we don't want the drills to be that way. We want the drills to be facing this way. I hope I'm doing it correctly. And then to make sure that the water doesn't flow away, we will put blocks here and we will put blocks here. And then we will put water here. Okay, so yes, we'll put water along here like so. Then we bring this up by one again. I will change this out all by glass so it can be seen what's happening on the inside and I've fallen and of course I have. And then we'll put larvae here and then we'll turn this into cobblestone and it will dig it. That will go into the chutes and out to the conveyor belt. Now I remember we have to do this. Now let's see how far we can go up. I swear it was something like this. Aha! Yes, I measured that by luck actually. So we're going to bring this up by a little bit uh, just so we have some room to grind down the stone yeah there we go so we'll go up like so there's something telling me that this isn't high enough but if it isn't we'll fix that later and then we build a vault here a big one like so why is it like that then we put funnels here. Yeah, but anyways, we put funnels here. Then we leave room for some shoots. So shoots will come up there. Yeah, so we make it like this. Then we grab the grindstone. And I messed this up. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Okay, so we have the grindstones which will power from here. And then this... Oh, then this will drop down in another chute which 
will come down like so. We would have an encased fan here. We'd put, uh, what is this called? A pressure plate right there. And we would put a water bucket here so it blows water through. And then at the end here, we would, we will have it deposit in this chest. But then we have a smart chute. So it only picks up when it has flint and iron nugget here. So no gravel would flow through. Okay, this should be everything. Now let's get a power source to get everything running. And add the lava in here and see if it all works. It should do. Um, Only thing I'm worried about is this spinning the opposite way. But I have a backup plan for that already so let me get a power source and i'll be back okay it is all running the conveyor belts are moving the right way these are grinding the fans moving the right way and am i the only one that didn't know this that you can water like you can make the frame trap doors water i think this is super cool But yes, I need to have a gear shift here because the fan was blowing the other way, but now it's blowing the white way. And I guess it's time to do the honours of having lava and getting this all ready. I forgot to power the grindstones. Silly me. Alright, so we just got to add a few more water wheels down below and we will be all good. I'm four water wheels short, so that's probably why it's playing up. Yay, it's working! Now let's see this get grinded. It's grinding. It's... Ooh. It's washing. And we have done it. I'm so happy. First farm and create. And I think we did really, really good. Um, I'm going to let this AFK for a little bit. And for about an hour. So let's see how much we make from that. Okay. I have been AFK for a teeny bit. Uh, I've done all this work outside. Just done a little bit of decoration and all that jazz. But so far we've gotten 214 ingots. Uh, 40 ingots. And that is quite a lot for about, what, half an hour maybe? So far quite a successful iron farm. But unfortunately that will have to be the end for today's episode. Uh, we've done quite a lot of progression in this episode, I'm quite proud. Um, but in the next episode, we will tackle our food situation. Actual, not skipping it, we're gonna actually tackle our food situation because I'm sick of bloody starving. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye In the previous episode, we built an iron farm and a limestone farm. But in this episode, we built the simplest create mod food farm. Bye. Uh, before we jump into this video, uh, it's been three episodes now, and I keep forgetting to mention that we have a name for our copper golem. Steve the Gold one suggested we should name it Brian, and I named this thing f three episodes ago. So yeah. Also, these two wonderful people as well suggested in my last episode I should change the millstones to crushing wheels so more stone can get crushed and to add this so it can crush the nuggets into iron ingots so I don't have to do that myself. So thank you to you, your suggestions because uh, I'm still learning and yes does make life a bit easier as I don't have to craft it into ingots anymore. But I have been streaming over on YouTube and I've actually collected all the resources for my food farm exterior. So 
maybe we should start off with a little bit of a time lapse maybe so let's jump right in now we have built our food i guess farm almost uh i put the cabbages i put the onions here it will be rice but unfortunately i do not have that much rice but some carrot a wheat field growing over here i gotta put torches on these fences and i made this cute little bird bath the only issue however is you can't actually move this grass here um, but I have an idea for that anyways. And then in here is a special shed, I guess we could say. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that as it is. But once again, I am stepping out of my comfort zone and did a different style for the roof. And I'm starting to stray away from the Azurin, as you can see. And I quite like it more. It's a bit more it's a bit more bright um and then on the inside i've basically given this a sandstone trimming i've added some birch just to you know break it up a bit and then i'll have a back door i think about here or no here i'll have a back door because the food farm will be at the back here and yes it doesn't look like a lot of room but it's going to be underground oh yeah i also like these windows they can open i've also got some fairy lights just to make it more cozy and i had to go on a bit of adventure to find some more crops and this is what i got so i got plenty of tomato seeds i've got plenty of i thought i had plenty of onions i've got plenty of cabbage wheat seeds and i've got two rice which i need to start growing actually in order to grow rice you need to plant the rice in water and i think you can just plant it in here like so so this will grow and i can harvest it and it'll make more so hopefully that gets done soon if you want to see this place get decorated make sure to tune in on my streams that i i uh, do on youtube i don't really have a schedule they just sprout out out of nowhere but I'll try to make one soon. Now, question is, do we have the food farm? Because I would do a little overhang with stairs going down, and then at the bottom will be a food farm. So the question is, should we make the stairs go down, or should we just have a little chat door on the inside here? I think I'm going to do stair idea. So let's start digging this out like so. Don't worry, guys, I'll make this prettier. Oh, I love the OptiMine mod. I will be right back once I have mined up all this area. During that process, I had an absolute midlife crisis and I called up one of my friends, Sandy. I asked for her opinion on what I should do and she basically said this. Why hide it underground when you can have a shown off to everybody and helpful out your area and then i said what a good idea sandy i'm gonna do it and we talked for a few more hours after that but as you can see behind me i have got a layout already planned um so this is going to be a greenhouse where there's going to be cabbage wheat and tomatoes and it's going to be put in a row like this because fun fact, if you didn't know, if you separate uh, crops when growing them, they grow faster. Which I didn't learn until Sandy told me that as well. 
So, and then here, I'm going to have rice and onions and potatoes and carrots. And then I'm going to have a pathway come along here, up here, and around. And it should look really nice from down here. Having that line of sight with the greenhouse right there. But since I'm lazy, I got the build wand. And I'm going to do this. Ooh, this is fun. Uh, so we're going to change it to row and column. And then, yeah. Then I can build it up like so. And I just built this entire wall in two seconds. Oh, this mod's amazing. I should start playing vanilla again so I can humble myself because the luxury of modded is insane. Like, I played Guest the Build the other day and it sucked. It was fun, it just sucked because I wasn't able to, you know, have this luxury stuff. There we go. I think I also have glass here. I already built this, I just got to remember how I built it. And then I think I did this. Okay, so let's get our trusty wand back out. And I think we can do... This. Oh, that's very handy. That's the only thing that sucks about this mod. But then you have ulti mine to fix it in 2.9 seconds. Voila! There we go. And then I'm going to go for a bit of a rounded roof. So in order to do that, we're going to do something like this, 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 this. So it's a little bit round. I hate when they're full. Then we're going to go this, this 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 and this then it'll meet in the middle like this and then you get a slab and voila nice round roof let's do the same over here so we're gonna go this 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 then this 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 and this Bada bing, bada boom. And then we want to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, okay, yeah. So, like so. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There. And then we can go bada bing, there. And then in the middle, we're going to have glass. We have to do it on the other side. Ah, oh, shoot. I made a mistake already. That bottom part is supposed to be birch. Whoopsie daisy. Now let's quickly have a look at what this looks like from down below. Oh. I don't know why it looks shorter yeah this is supposed to be two blocks higher okay now that i've raised everything by two we're going to use these framed blocks well framed slabs to cover this like so we quickly just grab out the normal green glass as the other glass look ugly and we will do this and this is very uh helpful when designing builds because you can't get slabbed glass can you so this is very nice to be able to use any blocks to make it slabbed now we just got to do this little roof here which i forget how what i did i know this goes up another one because i had a little slab here i simply just think this entire thing is just made out of slabs and then i think i got some water wood i made just like Five minutes ago and i still don't remember well, let's see we, have any... we do have warped wood thank goodness because i did not want to go into the nether 
Okay, we can do this like so. And then we gotta use the slab again. And that looks hideous. So what we're going to do is grab a special... We're going to get this frame screwdriver that I have in my hand. And it can change the direction of any block, which is super handy. So like this. And like this. Wada bing, bada boom. Be nice if I didn't drop my axe. And there we go. That's all done. We will break this middle part here. And then we can do something like so. There. Now let's see how it looks from down here. Hopefully it looks better. Yeah, there we go. Now just imagine like vines and leaves and all that. I'm planning to make all that up there overgrown. Ah, uh, yes. Well, since that massively failed and blew up in my face, um, we're just going to turn this greenhouse into a proper greenhouse. But before we do that, we're going to focus on these circle things, which now I'm going to be relying on to get my source of food. And don't worry, guys, I will be making a bigger one than this in the farming district in future episodes. But this, again, is only to get me food the first few episodes. Um, so I have built one of these circular ones before quite easy quite simple um, But first what we do need is some water wheels We only need two water wheels um, So in order to make water wheels, I'm pretty sure it's a shaft surrounded by wood It is. So we only need to go down by this much. I forget how big this water wheel is. So I'm just going to make it one size for now. Like this size and see if it's big enough. Yeah, perfect. And in order to make sure it goes one way. Then we build up with this. And then we place a mechanical bearing down like so. Here we got our harvesters down. We glue it like so. Then we can dig out this area here and fill it with water like so. Let's grab another water real quick. There we go. And then we can grow the rice here. I did it. I did it. That should do kissy thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we almost had enough. So sad. So sad. Then we can do cabbage here. Okay, that should be good. Then we just got to repeat this on this side. Okay, these are done, but I think what I want to do is maybe surround them with green concrete. Uh, actually, no, that would look stupid. Um, Maybe even just the green glass would probably look nice. Alright, I don't think that looks half bad, actually. What we could do is actually bring back in some of the birch as this retaining wall here. Yeah, I think I like that. So now we've got two create farms up in here, running away, working. Now, leave comments down below uh, what we th you think we should put in there because I tried to add a farm and it simply just didn't work. Um, 
so yeah i don't know what to put in here so if you have any ideas please comment that below that will be very helpful but i guess we should get this into this uh i lied again I'm, I'm very, very, very sorry. Uh, but we're going to rebuild the big farm inside of here. So your suggestions no longer count. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. I keep lying in this episode. Crazy, right? Um, but I figured out why it wasn't working properly. So since I figured that out, let's rebuild it. Because better food production means more food for me. And I won't have to worry about starving. So first, what we're going to do is... Yeah, I've already... As you can see, this is from the past. I've already built the rail here. So all we need to do is place this down. No, 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 no. We want to flip this around. So we want to place it, the minecart down. And then what we were going to do is grab some logs. Grab some logs like so. The voila. And then we can hook these harvesters here. And then we can grab this and grab this. So we can add the chest here. And we can add the... Whatever is it called? Portable storage face here. I'm going to quickly do this because I always forget. Lock rotation. I always forget and it always ends up in disaster. Just showing half of this greenhouse. Um, And then I'm going to glue this. This this and this so that should be good but then down here we're going to add another portable storage face a shoot here and yes i know this is slightly weird but the chest is going to end up coming down here which we can still access here and if you want to uh i'll be streaming wednesday night uh australian eastern standard time about 10 p.m on wednesday um and we're going to build a pathway through here give spruce in this area up a little bit and we're going to connect these into here and also decorating the inside of that because unfortunately i do not have the time to put it in this video uh i think it should still connect with a glass block there if not i'll just remove it but if i'm correct i'm all good to send this on its way everything seems to be fine but i'm having to do some crazy parkour guns only issue is this farm is no longer stoppable it must always be running and i'm scared because it's night time i'm going to sleep choo, choo, choo. also for those who are wondering where brian is i've chucked him in the shed and he's rusted right there r.i.p brian but what we are oh we need to grab some buckets of water we do so we're going to do a pro move right here, guys. We're going to smack this in the middle. Then parkour over and smack this in the middle. And then we're going to harvest this all at once. Oh, oh. Guys, much more... And my hoe broke. Oh, this is ending here very horribly. Wait, since it only comes here, we don't need to really do this part. So let's quickly fill this part in. Okay, I think that should be all. So first, we're going to add some cabbages here. Then some wheat. Then carrots. Onion. Then we're going to repeat. Okay, it's all done. Oof. Oh my lord. So now we have one, two, three productions of food. We're never going to starve. I'm going to make ourselves a bit of an egg farm. Once again, I'll be streaming that over on this channel. About 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Australian Time, Wednesday. And let's see how these foods are going. Okay, we've done quite well. And we also done quite well in here so far. And it's been running for about 20 or so minutes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm unfortunately going to have to wrap it up here today. But I have done quite a bit by building this little lovely area. Then up there with the food farms. Uh, fixing up the iron farm. So yeah, quite busy episode. I'm also very sorry for not posting for a month. Got a bit busy with real life. 
but I should be back for a few weeks and after hopefully got some videos special videos coming out so be aware and make sure to look out for that and I'm also sorry if this video is a little bit janky uh, I was in a bit of a rush and again technical difficulties with that thing up there but once again i'm out of time for today so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye. in the previous episode i built this cozy little kitchen bakery and created two little food farms but in today's episode we'll be making the simplest mob farm but before we need to jump into this episode i streamed over on my channel the other day and we did some terraforming so this place was looking a bit bare so we did some terraforming up there which looks some looks nice uh there was some advice to add some flowers to break it up with blue and white flowers so this is our main focus of the episode because we're going to build our mob farm right there we also added a little bit of a path and a little bit of tables and chairs right there some but well buttons that looks like rocks and these are little bigger rocks which just adds to the climate as you guys can see here i already got all the resources uh the schematics in here uh but we can't build anything yet because we need to terraform right here this place that i marked out so i marked out this little line and we need to terraform and get rid of this giant chunk <laughs> why i think this is enough space to build our building so let's get on with our building time lapse Well, uh, still looks a bit bodgy, but it can use with a little bit of uh, exterior decoration. But that is the building that we just made. Uh, it's unique, in my opinion, but that's what I want this area to be. I don't want it to be no generic medieval or one specific style. I want it to have a palette, and I want it to give everything their own building style. For example, this has a weird roof with a slouched roof over here and just a big open entrance once again. Um, so in here we have the brick bond spruce flooring here, which looks really nice. I've used this in most of my other builds. This will be a little nook for where the storage will be. And this is where the mob farm will be, which I will talk more about in a little bit. But you've probably been seeing me having this fried rice throughout the video. And you're probably asking me, William, how did you get that fried rice? Well, let me tell you. Welcome to Cooking with William. So we're going to make a... Uh fried rice today so in order to make fried rice we need rice of course and we need some eggs carrots and spring onion so let's quickly go and grab that from the fridge so we've got our rice our eggs our carrot and our spring onion so we need to put this in a cooking pot so let me quickly adjust this so over here we have this cooking pot and we need to add it into this cooking pot. So we've got to add the rice here, the egg here, the carrot here, and the onion here. And as you can see, the arrow is going up and we should get fried rice. Voila, we got some fried rice. And we can simply enjoy our food. But please let me know if you like cooking with William. 
because I will bring this back if you do. But that's how you make fried rice with the create mod. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed cooking with William. That dude's really cool. Um, um, so this is my idea. Don't mind this cobblestone block, but this is my idea for the area. So down here is where the mobs are going to be. I don't know if I want to decorate the walls because I feel like it's going to be dark down there anyways. But yeah, so they're going to be three spawners. One's probably going to be here. One's probably going to be here. And the other one will probably be back here. And they will spawn all the mobs in. They'll get funneled down into a water source. Then they would probably get through here. Then come along here. And then I think they will come up onto a conveyor belt where there will be a sword dude killing them and then their xp will come down here and they will get sorted into loot here so it'll be xp i don't know bones if we have spiders string and etc like that but in order to actually make a mob farm we need spawners and luckily with the create mod we can do that okay so with this we're going to use the traditional method of moving stuff in create but for those who don't know, we're going to place a cart assembler down. Well, this is the cart assembler, but we're going to place a rail, then a cart assembler. A minecart, and then we're going to activate it so it lifts up. And then we can use our wrench to grab it. And if it doesn't work for you, it probably means you haven't changed it in the configurations, which I'll show you how to do right now. First, you want to go to mod. Then we want to go to create configs, gameplay settings, kinetics, contraptions. And we can simply search up spawner. And then we can click it to make it not pick up, not unmovable and movable. And you should be able to move it once you've changed it. All right. So I found another two more. So we've got one zombie and two skeleton spawners. So now I think we are safe. Actually, we should do the water bucket first and dig it all out before we put ourselves in danger. So let's quickly do that. The reason this is tinted glass as well is once it's to keep the darkness in so it doesn't affect the spawn. So let's grab ourselves a few poor buckets of water. Uh, do we have any water in here? Near no, we don't. Since we only have one bucket, we're going to have to do this one at a time. Okay, I think I got a little bit sidetracked, but I basically connected a system where a conveyor belt will bring it down and then it'll bring it this way. And then there is a fan that will blow us up up and then hopefully this fan can blow it this way where they will get stuck somewhere here they get killed by the sword dude then the stuff drops and it continues to go down here which will connect and then it'll connect to the storage area but first we need to activate this fan activate this and maybe connect the storage system before putting this in because we don't want that causing any issues so i reckon a simple way we could do this is just simple water power like we've been doing so we can probably cover this with an endosite casing like so which then here we can probably add a water wheel all right since i'm a failure i forgot to explain while actually building or the create mechanism so i'm just going to quickly do a quick a voiceover slash speed montage so as you see here i have created the one wheel then i added a deployer right here and then i added all three spawners inside of the boxes then when they were starting to spawn and come up i realized the sword was a little bit too slow so i enhanced the speed by adding more water wheels and connecting a small cog with a larger cog in a repeating pattern which increased the speed by a big amount and then i fixed up the conveyor belts down there by changing them into water i replaced the fan with a bubble elevator and everything is now fixed i don't know how long this episode will be but i think it's a little bit short but i think this is where i'm gonna have to wrap it up for today because i'm run out of time and i've barely been able to do this throughout the week the next episode mm, should be out by next week if not the week after i'm sorry for my broken upload schedule once again but i've been busy with school and all that stuff but i hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.